sure was mighty good stuff you cooked up, Daisy. Are you seeing us? Yeah. Listen, why don't you sit there and relax, and I'll take care of the dishes. Oh, I'll do that, Daisy. Shucks. Excuse me. Sit down, Daisy. Enos Straight speaking. Hey, Enos, Daisy there? Oh, hi, Luke. She sure is. <laughs> Safe and sound. It's Luke again. Thanks. Hey, Luke. Yeah, Daisy. Listen, Mrs. Walker said she put that little black book in the mail. So we're gonna pick it up in the morning. Well, you just give me a holler and I'll be ready and waiting. You got it. Bye bye. Everything all right? Seems to be. What are you gonna do with that little black book when you get it? <laughs> well, we ain't gonna give it to Roscoe, that's for dang sure. Actually, me and Bo got in touch with the FBI and made arrangements for them to pick it up. So by this time tomorrow, the whole thing should be ancient history. Trouble is, Luke, sometimes history repeats itself. I reckon it ain't gonna be that simple. Now, I bet I know where Enos got that idea. I saw that movie, too. Enos. You're such a gentleman. You ready for me to turn out the light, Daisy? Was going to have the same dreams that he'd been having since he was in the third grade. Pitching him and Daisy together for the rest of their lives. Sweet dreams to you too, Daisy. When the next morning got there. Sure is great having a fresh cup of coffee first thing in the morning, especially yours, Daisy. Thank you, Annis. But are you sure you don't want me to whip you up a little breakfast? It's only going to take a minute. I'd like nothing better, Daisy, but I'm going to be late for work. Now you just make yourself at home, and, and I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Ennis? I want to thank you for being so very, very sweet to me. I really appreciate it. Oh, shucks, I didn't, I didn't do nothing, Daisy. <laughs> yeah, you did. I gotta go. 